hey there welcome to this video so after watching this video you will know how to implement the drag and drop feature like you see in notion you drag and drop things in the kanban board it's pretty cool right so i just learned how to do that and in this video i'm going to show you how you can do that uh, with with just plain javascript i'll be using react but the implementation of the feature is all in plain javascript i'll not be using any library whatsoever so it's pure javascript you can implement it wherever you want so let's just jump into my screen okay so before i get started let me just show you where the divs are where the components are because that's all you need to implement this feature you just need to know where to drag from and where to drop so if i go into my code uh, and, and go, I go to app.js where from from where everything starts you can see i'm just rendering this uh, to do component which is coming from this to do.js and uh, that's and the, so the whole app that you see is just this component but just this rectangle like the to do what is the to do just this screen rectangle is a different component uh, which i am um, by the way like as you can see here list view to do is its name and it is here it is here in the components right so this is uh, the list view to do component this small rectangle and the whole app is dot to do dot chase right so if i just uh, write something it should be working like um film and i just add uh, it is so just this this is the list view component and I'm mapping them here right so let's first figure out how to drag start dragging this because if I just try now I can't drag this thing right um so let's figure out that so if you have been working with somewhat with javascript you must know that uh, you there you have something called on click right and it is what it is a dom event what does it do it captures your uh, click captures your click right it it is a dom event and exactly like that to capture or drag thing the browser has on drag right and it has many things but we'll be just using three so one is the on drag start the second one is the on drag over and the third one is the on drag on drop so from its name it's pretty explanatory I'll just make it bigger uh, but if I just explain you so the on drag, um, so the on drag start is used in the div or the component where you want to make it draggable, right? And you want to capture, hey, the dragging has been started, and I'll show you all these things. Now on drag over is used on the div where you want to capture that if I'm hovering, like if I just um, like start dragging this, and if I'm hovering now, you can see this uh, thing being. Um, so this thing's color changes to gray. Now this happens due to um, on drag over. I'm dragging over it, so it is sensing that, and the on drag over senses this thing that I'm dragging over this. And on drag start is like if I just start dragging this. So this is on drag start, and uh, on drop is pretty intuitive. Like if I just take it and I drop here, now on top has been done, right? So this was just an example I showed you here because I can show that here. But that exactly exactly that happens in the browser. So let's just try making this think this this div uh, draggable so to make it draggable i'll just go to that uh, the div which is wrapping this whole uh, so to make it draggable i'll just go to my this list view to the component which you can see is this one and i'll say what is the div that is the main div that is wrapping the whole thing so this is the first div right and i need to make that thing draggable i'll just say draggable so you can uh, also write true here like this but if you just leave it like that it means that it, you're just telling it true okay so now let me tell you another thing now imagine you have a real app um, users are using you are uh, storing things in the servers and so when you need so when the user drags this thing and you put it in in progress what you want to do is that you want to tell the servers that hey this uh, to do status is now changed to in progress right so to do that you need to have attributes like to do this to do's id to send to the server right or which means that when you drag and drop this in in progress you also need some of its attributes right so how do we remember that um, to do id or something that we need when you just drag it and drop it in some other uh, component right so to do that uh, i'm gonna use on drag start as i have told you this will be fired when i start dragging so when this on drag start is fired it will fire a function and i'll make this an arrow function pass the event that hey the dragging has started and i'll call this function drag um, let's say drag started and i'll just pass the event and give also the props dot or uh, to do id just uh, just uh, don't care about this what is this this, this is the, actually the props and in props i'm getting a to do id so i need to pass that to this function right so i'll now make that function so i'll call it const 
just now declare this function const drag started um here i'm passing the event as you saw event as you saw event and the to do id so i need to capture that so i'll say id id i'm getting that and now i'll say what do i do in the function so here we use a object called data transfer which the event has so we call it like e dot um, event dot data transfer and we set the data we want to save by giving it a key value pair kind of thing so um we'll say i'll say set data and i'll say Oh, let's call this to do id because it is to do id and i'll give id so in this data transfer object now you have set a data called named to do id which has a value of this id right cool um now to get this data anywhere you are dropping you can just do event dot data transfer dot get data to do id so this will give you that id so that's how you do things and we will do that actually when i drop it in the in progress so to just show you that hey it is all working so i'll just say here hey it has started and you'll see this in console when i start dragging now if i just save it so quickly i just did this draggable and then i just uh, told it to do something to remember some attributes of this art uh, id and that's all it is doing so if i just save it now and i go back to my app and i start dragging it you will see just just look at this console here you can you can see here that so i say drag has started and as you can see here the element has been made um draggable so this notion or the kanban boards that you use um just work with this same things right i don't know they use either a library or they use this just this normal javascript but it's just working on the same principles of this drag and drop dom event right cool so now we have made it, so now we have made it draggable now if i just just leave it here nothing happens because we need to make this div this whole in progress rectangle droppable right so now i will go to now i'll find where is this div right so if i just go to my to do.js um here i'll see that uh, so where is this div so in progress right so there we go this is the in progress as you can see in this div in progress uh, this is the to do's progress and this is the completes progress right so in the in progress i'll say hey make this droppable right make this div droppable so droppable cool so now here i'll be so we have used till now the on drag start now here we'll be using the on drag over and on drop right so i'll first say on drag over so you need this somehow without this uh, i'm getting errors so just use this on drag over is captured as i told you when you start hovering over the droppable dev right so i'll just quickly implement it i'll pass the event into a function i'll tell it on drag over this is the name of the function i'll quickly here implement this function or you know what i'll just call it dragging over because i named this drag started so i'll just name it dragging over right and i'm going to just declare this function here okay cool so i'll just now print here console.log dragging over now and uh, for some reason it does not work if you just don't give prevent default here so e dot prevent default event dot prevent default does not uh, make your browser refresh when these things get fired here right now that uh, dragging over is set up i need to also capture when i have dropped this so for that i've told you uh, we are going to use this on drop right so i'm going to tell here on drop um here i will call another function pass in the event um i'll say here drag dropped for the lack of a better name um and i'll just make a function now call this drag drop um cool i'm passing your event so event and um here i'll first say that hey we have console.log uh, you have dropped and what i need to do here is that i want to get that uh, that to do id that i have dragged through right i want to get that so to get that i will say um i'll just let i'll just declare a variable the to do uh, i'll say here transferred 
to do id to form just more context or uh, transfer to do id and here i'll say hey event dot data transfer get that data transfer object and here i will just i'll just add this statement here it is redux dispatch i'm use, using for state management you don't have to care about that just ignore this line but i'll surely be making a tutorial on the modern redux because uh, in vid in youtube i just found out that if you have seen the video where i was learning modern redux the youtube is actually there are not much videos on youtube about modern redux but it's kind of the thing now like everyone is using this so yeah uh don't care about this just i just need this for the app to work fine so now if i just go here just keep looking here on the console and if i just start dragging it drag has started and now if i just take it here we are hovering over it so dragging over now if i just boom just leave the left key boom that that's how it is working right we just have one and i don't know from where this is but just ignore this but you have dropped and one is the to do's id and if you don't know where this is coming from this is actually my initial state in the so this is actually from here you don't have to care about this code this is redux um so yeah that's how it works and i'll just copy the same thing okay so basically now just let me tell you so i now have fixed things so if i just go here and just be glad and I just put it anywhere I want it will just work fine and let me just show you the changes I have made so it's pretty much the same now I have just what I have just done is that these the, these are the two functions I have used right so I just duplicated both of them because for this dropped thing I needed to dispatch this different dispatch statements because here it has in progress and here it has the new status complete so I just made all of these are same all of these things are the same just the dispatch section is different here now um, but and, and I'm calling these things here in the completed completed is just the same thing like as you can see here this one and this one and you must be also thinking that hey in the on drag over you had you are doing the same thing basically like e dot prevent default and e dot prevent default then why did you make uh, two components two functions two different functions uh, to do that you can just call the same function in each of these divs and the thing is that it just does not work it breaks and that happens because i guess the events are different actually when you are using in different divs so for every a div you make you have to make another drag over thing right um, so yeah that was the video uh, so now you know how to make things drag and drop so yeah that was the video i also did not know before some days this how how to do this but i thought um, like this is cool uh, with notion you know you can just make that kanban board do things so you know just uh, throw in some css in here and you have a uh, your own working to do app you know with kanban board so yeah that's what i wanted to share in this video and do let me know in the comments about this feature and what more feature you might want to see me implement or want to learn and obviously if you love the video and got some value do make sure to subscribe to the channel that means a lot and i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day and keep building